Uh, Dr. Hoffer probably knew more about treating schizophrenia with niacin or vitamin B3 than anyone on the planet. And B3 is another name for niacin. Incidentally, B3 was uh, coined by Bill W., the co-founder of Alcoholics Anonymous. And Bill W. was a patient of Abram Hoffer's. Having said that, I'd like to emphasize that Dr. Hoffer's protocol for treating schizophrenia with niacin is not generally regarded as valid by psychiatrists and physicians in general, but that's their loss. Dr. Hoffer wrote many books on this, and he was the world authority, in my opinion, and continues to be. Vitamin C was given along with niacin. Dr. Hoffer would typically give thousands of milligrams of vitamin C and thousands of milligrams of niacin, and he would give them together. Dividing the dose is important, and schizophrenia is more likely to respond in the first year or two that it's diagnosed. People that have had schizophrenia for five or ten years are less likely to be helped as much by niacin. Dr. Hoffer mentioned that some people will need to have medication along with the vitamin therapy. He also said that the medication will work better with the vitamins. And in case of long-standing schizophrenia, the vitamins can work better with the medication. Dr. Hoffer said that the cure rate with drugs for schizophrenia is about 10%. He said the cure rate doing nothing is about 50%. And the cure rate with vitamins is about 80%. Those are good numbers.